You need to understand your power and exercise your power because your power is where you make change. Your rage is the beginning, not the end. Yes. Scott Wilson, you are a coward for putting people out of this room while they have a right to speak. So here they go. Now we've been out here holding the line. Now I'm trying. Y'all gonna just make it worse? What did he do? Use my constitutional right. A cop put a gun to a man's head. Slavery, Jim Crow, women's rights, gay rights, civil rights, and every other progressive thing in America. It has always been white men that stood in the way of progress. I put it on a shirt because sometimes y'all don't listen to what we say. Uh, fire blank ceremony. And I think that your decision tonight will tell us whether or not you're a racist. Point blank. Everybody else can beat around the bush and sugarcoat it. It's wrong. And honoring Robert E. Lee is wrong. We got to listen and watch state police come line up and watch us have a peaceful conversation. Because our skin intimidates you. Some of you are going to say we don't see color. That's a problem. See me as a black man. Understand that we deal with things in this community that you don't deal with just because we are African American. You should resign, each one of you, and allow people who have the courage to say that he is a bad apple and bad apples spoil the bunch. If you talk to young people, if you inform them of the right way to do things, if you stay with them, if you encourage them, if you affirm them, if you love them, your young people will follow the instructions of what you give them. Your young people will remain peaceful. Your young people will then learn what the process is. And I'm not elected. Your elected representatives are not out here with their constituents. And you set your arrogant self in here and sit on there shopping while the pain and the hurt of the people of this community is on display because you don't give a damn and you should resign.